Yo, what's up, good people? It's your boy Demetrius McQueen. I'm back with another video. So y'all know I'm just getting started, man. I, I don't know whether I want to come up with an alias D Money, D Max, something like that. I don't know. I might just keep it real. Just go with my real name, Demetrius McQueen. But anyway, today we're gonna be talking about this King Von video, uh, the the surveillance video of him basically being assassinated. R.I.P. King Von. I don't care how many people thought you was an op. You was a young black man out here trying to do your thing and make it. Uh, honestly, after looking, comparing your music to Lil Durk music, you was killing Lil Durk, bro. You was way better than Lil Durk. Lil Durk ain't had nothing on you, bro. You was about to blow up way bigger than Lil Durk. So, you know, that, that actually makes me want to look at Lil Durk, honestly. Um, but just looking at that video, King Von manager... Bro, you looking real shifty, real shady, real shifty, real shisty right now, bro. And you already know it. it, it you know, if I was you, bro, I'd just lay everything on the line. Forget about this street cold crap trying to conceal names and do this and do that. Bro, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't that, bro. You ain't that, bro. You already know you was a nerd. You already know you was the good kid. You already know you ain't rolling. You ain't riding. You already know this, bro. And like, you know, I seen a comment on one of the videos that said it looked like that uh that King Von and Quando Rondo uh actually met up so they could shoot the fell ones, they could have a one on one. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what it looked like. That's why um King Von was on go like that. That's why he walked up to Quando Rondo on go on straight go mode. And the manager talking about uh uh King Von just wasn't himself that entire day. He just didn't want to get out the car. Bro, who the hell leave their album release party to go to another spot to sit in the damn car? Bro, you make yourself sound crazy right now. King Von was the leader. King Von was the boss. Y'all follow King Von around. King Von the one made and decided what the next move was going to be. What club y'all was going to hit. Where y'all was going next. King Von decided all that. So if King Von said, let's leave my album release party and go to a hookah lounge, then that's what he wanted to do. So we need to figure out why. Why was King Von going to that spot? And like I said, it looked like he was going there to meet up with Quando Rondo. You can see Quando Rondo standing outside the car. Basically, to me, that means he it was looking like Quando Rondo had just got there. Think about it, y'all. Look where look where that white SUV was at that King that uh Quando Rondo was standing next to when King when King Von walked up to him. <clears throat> the 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 white SUV that Quando Rondo was standing next to, well, it wasn't even in the parking space. The car was parked right, illegally parked right in front of the police. They had just pulled up. That man had just. So basically, Quando Rondo was already there. The white SUV pulled up. Rondo saying it was his guys. He got up, walked up to the car, said, all right, what we finna do? Then here come King Von, and it, and it went down. And we watched King Von get assassinated on video. And what we need to really think about is, why every time a rapper gets, shoot, gets shot, it's always on video? Why every time a rapper gets shot, it's always on video? Nine times out of ten, when it's a famous rapper with a name, every time they get shot, it's always on video. Every single time. So we need to, we need to wonder... How can we still watch rappers go down with them running the same play? The way King Von got killed was the same way Tupac got killed. You show a, a, a rapper frustrated, aggravated, ready to nut up, ready to hurt some, and then next thing you know, they did. And five minutes later, hour later. That's how they do it. Because if they don't get that shot of the rapper acting a fool, it doesn't. It won't justify their death. They try to show them why they're mad and show them why they're angry and show them why they're pumped up and fired up and ready to go and ready to hurt someone when they pissed off. And then next thing you know, the rapper is dead. So we need to figure out what's going on, man. Why all our talented artists always got to go? Marvin Gaye, Sam Cooke, um, Tupac. The list just goes on and on, man. It just never stops, man. It never stops. Look what happened to Teddy Pendergrass. He's still alive, but still look at him, man. So we need to figure out what's going on. Why every time we get a prominent artist like our Bach, our Mozart, they're always taken out. Every single time, man. Look what happened to Whitney Houston. Look what happened to Michael Jackson. I'm talking about geniuses, man. That's why Kanye pulled back, man. We're talking about geniuses. Every time we got a musical genius, something happened to him. Look at Luther Vandross. The list just goes on and on and on. It never stops, man. So what we got to do is wake up, pay attention, and show our people that we got our back. Let's show them that it's okay to be better than the next. Um, like the um, 
My guy that made the song um, Young, Gifted, and Black, Donny Hathaway, died at an early age. Every time one of ours um, showcases musical genius, something always happened to him. Every single time, man. So we got to wake up. We got to show our people that we got their back, man. R.I.P. King Vaughn, this manager, man. We, 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 we need to keep an eye on that dude, man. At the same time, R.I.P. Um, FBG Duck, man. You know. We got to get better, y'all. Let's 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 keep our eyes on the prize and, and and open up our eyes and try to pay more attention to what's going on. Stop taking everything for uh, surface value, for face value. Dig deeper. Try to think more. Always ask why. Always try to question everything. Stop just going with the first story that you hear. I always try to realize and try to peep game, man. Try to see what's really going on. But anyway, I'm out. I ain't going to hold y'all up. It's another video from your boy Demetrius McQueen. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Y'all make sure y'all share this video if you felt what I was saying. If you don't like what I'm saying, I still love you. But anyway, man, I'm going to get up with y'all later, man. Y'all hold it down. I'm out.